There's something in the money saving field that I think that all of us money saving and money teaching folks forgot to tell you. And that is that it's worth it. Every single second, every single sacrifice has proven time and time again to be completely worth it. All right, so this happens all the time when people start going, they've decided they want to become debt free. They're not quite sure where to start. They're scared. They don't know what to do. And then there's people who are so dedicated to being in debt the rest of their life. Those who think that that's just the way that it is, that they don't realize that it is worth it. I would go back and do it all over again if I had to. As you all know, I started out deeply in debt. Uh, I worked two jobs for a year and a half, got rid of all of my debt, and just continued to work the way that I was working while I was getting out, getting out of debt in order to accumulate quite a bit of money. I've had so many letdowns and pushdowns and two step, you know, one step forward, two steps back. It happens all the time. And there's a difference between, you know, giving up. There's a difference in character. When somebody has that stuff happen to them and they give up, they're just like, it's not worth it anymore. I quit. But then there's the people who persevere and they keep going despite all of the downfalls, despite all of the negativity, and they get to the end result and it was all worth it. Another thing that we don't tell you is that you are worth it. So back when I was in my early 20s, I was spending money left and right. I was at the hair salon. By the way, I get a lot, I've been getting a lot of comments on my hair. My hair, I have not gone to a salon. I have not had it dyed. I simply parted it differently. I didn't get it cut. I haven't had my hair cut in over a year. I just parted it differently. And this seems to be in style because I usually part it in the middle and go sideways. Uh, but people seem to be reacting really well to my hair being like this. Uh, I have not done anything to it. I just parted it differently. And to me, it feels like a comb over. I'm, I'm sure that men who are bald and then they comb their hair over. Uh, now you're probably imagining me bald. And if you weren't before, you are now. But <laughs> it feels like a comb over to me. But I guess you guys like it, so I'll, I'll try and do it once in a while. But uh, you're worth it. And when I was back then, I was getting my hair done, my nails done, buying new clothes to give a outward appearance of I, I wanted to be wanted. I wanted friends. I wanted relationships. And I thought that the only way I could do that was by changing the outside of me, not changing the inside. And we do live in a society where they greatly value outer appearances, but I find that the most beautiful thing on somebody else is a smile. And personality, as you all know, personality beats looks any day of the week. So if you have, if you're in debt, look deep within yourself to figure out if that is because of a self-confidence issue. Um, and, and that's where I was. I had no confidence. Uh, once I found the confidence within myself, haven't gotten my nails done since, haven't gotten my hair done professionally since, um, I, I haven't done anything. I don't think I've bought new clothes in, when I say new clothes, I've bought used clothes at a thrift store, but I don't think I've bought new clothes except for an occasional shirt here and there maybe in three, two or three years. I think I bought this shirt new uh, on Amazon, but I bought it as part of like a four pack of different plaid shirts for like 30 bucks. And that was years ago. But, um, you know, the self-confidence thing I think is, is really, it's a, it's a issue. It is an issue in our culture, in our society, because we are taught to believe a certain way and that's just not the way that it is deep down. So if you 
think that it's not worth it to get out of debt, if you think it's not worth it to accumulate wealth, it's not worth it to sacrifice going out to dinner once a week, um, it, it, it is. It's worth it in the end. I can promise you that. You look back and you regret nothing. Whereas most people who you know die in poverty look back and say, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. Uh, you, you are at the point where you have the opportunity to do that. And every day you have that opportunity. So I want you all to know that it is worth it. The sacrifice is worth it and you are worth the sacrifice. So do it like a Band-Aid, pull it off fast, get it over with, go as intensely as you can for as long as you can to get rid of it. And when you're on the other side, when you're on the other side of debt freedom or you're on the other side of wealth, you look back and all you can think is, thank God I did that, thank God I don't have the stress of all of the bills that I had. Thank God that's all over with. And while you're getting out of debt, even if you don't have confidence beforehand, there something just naturally occurs inside of you where you're no longer looking for outside approval. You're looking for internal approval. So your confidence will naturally grow as you're getting out of debt and as you're working hard, as you're showing integrity, it just happens. It just happens naturally on the inside. And anybody who watches my channel, who has gone through the hardships of lowering your expenses, increasing your income, working two jobs, sticking through it, I can guarantee you in the comment section, people are gonna be like, that's right, girl, that's right. I totally agree with you, absolutely worth it. So if you've done that, please comment in the comment section below so that people can get motivation, not just from me, not just taking my word for it, but can also get, get uh, advice from all of you uh, down in the comment section. So I know that this is a little bit of a serious video, but it had to be said is that, you know, people are like, what are you doing all this for? And it's not worth it. It is worth it. It is absolutely worth it and I would do it all over again. I would. If I had to go back in time and I had a choice to do it all over again, I would do exactly what I did. The same way that I did it, I would do it again. And I would do it again and again and again and again. It's, that's just the way that it is. And my life now, I am happier than I have ever been. So when you're debt free, it relieves so much stress. And then when you continue with those same practices that you use to get out of debt in order to accumulate wealth, it does not feel like you're giving anything up. It doesn't feel like any sort of constriction or constraint. It just feels like normal daily life. And it, is, it gets so much easier. Everything gets easier after time. And you become more not necessity is the mother of invention, but you become so much more crafty and so much more thinking outside the box of things that you can do for free or cheap. And a lot of those things have a tendency to be more fun than if you would have spent money. So let me use an example. Think back to your childhood and think about Christmas. Of all the gifts that you've been given in your entire life, how many of those gifts do you still have? in your possession and how many do you remember? Maybe it, it's, for most of us, it's gonna be none. Maybe it'll be one or two, but most of us are not gonna remember. Now remember back to your fondest memories, your happiest memories of your mom, your dad, your best friend, your cousin, uh, your family. And when you were having those amazing moments with your family and friends, was there any money involved? And about 90% of the time, the answer is no. One of my best memories was in the middle of the desert with my family and my friends by a bonfire, <laughs> playing bongo drums and the guitar very badly and singing very badly uh, and having 
the absolute best time of our life. We didn't even buy firewood. It was scrap wood that we used to make the bonfire and we didn't pay for any sort of bonfire utensils. It was just, we put a bunch of rocks in a circle and we made a bonfire and we had the best night ever. So I want you guys to think back of your best memories and just remember that most of those memories didn't cost any money. Maybe it's the birth of your child. Uh, I, besides the hospital bill, how much did it cost to create that baby? So those are the things that I want you all to think of is that in this life, things are worth it. The, the sacrifice we make is worth it. Things are not worth it. People are worth it and you are definitely worth it. Never give up, never give up, never surrender. As, uh, as that movie Galaxy Quest would say. But it's worth it, folks. And do it if you can. Get it over with. Life is so much better on the other side. And remember, if you believe that you can or you believe that you can't, you are right. Prepper Princess out. Almost forgot to mention, check out my book, Living on Almost Nothing. I will leave a link in the description below. Thank you. <laughs>